everybody, we have another unboxing right here happening. We got the Jason X Hunter. This bike is new to the market. Uh, when they offered this bike to me, I tried to look it up and there was nothing posted at all. So this is a new bike to the market. Uh, and we're going to unbox it, put it together, take a quick look at it, and uh, take it for a quick ride and see what we got. So I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, the box did come with some damage. I haven't looked at it yet, but the bottom's a little bit crushed, and it was actually already uh, undone. Would have been nice to have some tape or some strapping on it, but we'll see what we got, guys. So JCN requested a uh, full unboxing, all the bells and whistles that I typically do. So that's what we're going to do. Very familiar fender. I brought a garbage can over so I don't have to double pick everything up. Here's a nice box. We'll take a look at it. So in that box, I'll take a, a picture. Insert it here. We can show you what's inside. It's uh, it's packaged very, very uh, tightly, which is kind of a good thing. They put they put packaging all over, just in case something happened, right? <laughs> all right. Another piece. Alright, let's see if we can lift this out. Alright, so as usual, I will cut their name out and put it on the wall somewhere. kickstand. It's an adjustable kickstand and we have to put it on ourselves. So this bike is um, I think on sale right now for $1,099 versus $1,199. So certainly uh, that's worth you know a hundred bucks making it fairly cheap to, to, to build. I, I don't mind putting on two, two bolts for that. When you do this, just make sure that the uh, motor cable is out of the way so you don't crimp down on it with a screw. It's pretty much out of the way anyway. Uh, just safeguard that it doesn't hurt the cable. Um, I have looked at a video on their bikes in the past and it looked like their seats were pretty narrow um, and I actually heard uh, one person say they were changing it out because it was too narrow and uncomfortable. This seat is labeled with their name, JCM. It's very soft. Uh, it's very soft, very plush. 
So looking forward to trying that out. That feels, that looks like it feels very comfortable. Looks like a turning, well, certainly a Shimano shifter. Turning, Shimano shifter. It has dual guards on front. They are plastic, but so what? All right, we got the uh, chain on. We'll just rotate a little bit, make sure we're in gear. Okay, gear is properly set. Now we'll take this off. Looks like a bat wing. So something you can tell, the bike's not on, battery has not been charged, but you keep hearing a buzz in the background. I don't know if you heard it. Um, every time I touch this wrong, it actually is sounding the horn. So this bike actually uh, sounds the horn. The horn and the front light can work without the bike being turned on. So to me, this looks like a minimum height to a maximum height. I think this sits around 40 to 45 total inches. Yeah, see? And I believe the light will come on as well. Maybe no on the light. <laughs> it's a very nice looking bike, JC on. So one of the things you guys may have noticed right away while building this, rear suspension. So that's a really good thing uh, on a bike uh, at this price. The price on this bike, like I said, is $11.99, and I think on their special right now, it's $10.99. Uh, that's a really good price on a bike that, let me tell you, uh, I haven't had, all I've done is uh, seen a little bit on it, but it's a 750-watt motor, 13-amp-hour battery, 28-mile-an-hour uh, bike. I think the brakes are Phalel. Uh, they're manual pull brakes. But Phalel, uh, I have several bikes with that brand uh, uh, brake, and I, I personally like them. Uh, I think they're pretty good for, for, for a manual brake. It's a really good brake, actually. All right, so now we've got it standing up, at least a little bit. Let's put the front tire on. So this bike comes with a through axle. This is a very nice upgrade, guys. This is a nice upgrade. So, all right, so the simplest way to put this on, you take off the protection pad. Don't put the, uh, the axle, the, the, the through axle on. Just lift the bike up the way it is and set it in place. Like so, now you're going to take the through axle with this side on the side of the uh, rotor, and you'll just put it on. So I got the through axle in. There's a hole right up here. You put this lock washer in there and then start turning it. Making sure that the washer stays in that hole because what that is is if something comes loose Even a little bit and that's not there the front tire may drop off And all that's doing is protecting that front tire from dropping out as I hold this backside like I showed you 
And then I take this and I turn it to where I can get this comfortably down. Now that's too tight because I can't get it. So I loosen the backside a little bit. And I keep trying until it goes nicely into, split, into space. Right about there. Should do it. Good. So now the wheel is on. Spin it. And there's no noise. So we have the wheel on. Now we have to put the fender on. All right. So bring the fender up through. Kind of set it up there. Take your light. Shove this through the bracket of your light. Put your fender bracket up on top. Get it started. Then I like mine as high as I can get it, so I just lift it up off the tire and, and, and tighten it down. Then you can adjust the light, tighten it down a little more. Adjust the light and then tighten it up. Four LED beam. And we'll take this off. We will bring the fender stay down. The fender is complete. The keys are right down here. So if we need them, we will... Actually, let's just take them off now. I, I don't know if you need them to start the bike, ride the bike, uh, but I'm just not a fan of them sitting on the, underneath the bike with just a, a zip tie. Now we'll put the seat on. Very smooth. That's nice. I think it's going to need to be a little tighter than that. Very nice. The pedals on the end have an L and an R. The R goes on the right side and goes on clockwise. Hand thread it until you get it somewhat started because you don't want to cross thread this. I have it started. Okay. This goes counterclockwise. All right, guys. So the thing that's left, the bike is assembled. I still need to test it, take pictures, give it a ride. But the only thing left on the bike that I need to show you, tool bag. Because I've done 30 of these bikes and I have my own tools, I got so many I didn't even open the bag. A plethora, plethora of tools and your power supply. 56.2 volt, 2 amp. It is labeled JCON. All right, guys, let's move on with some pictures, then we'll take it for a ride.
All right, guys, now we're ready for the ride portion of the video. And uh, I'm gonna change two things before I ride the bike. So bear with me a second. I'll point this down to show you what I'm changing, hopefully. Uh, we'll be able to see it. I'll back up into the garage so we can see it. Okay. So right now it's on PAS1. I don't really care what PAS level I'm on. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to start with one though. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the plus and minus. Now we're going to go into the P, uh, the program modes or the parameters mode. So on the first one, sorry, on the first, I talk too much. On the first one, all that is, is, is brightening and dimming the display. As you can see, it's brightening and dimming. I'm leaving that where it's at. The next one is the kilo, mile, kilometers per hour or miles per hour. I'm going to move mine to miles per hour because that way when I do some stuff, I, I know what it is. PO3 is uh, the voltage on the bike. I'm not sure on all these yet. Uh, the only one I know I'm going to change is this one here, PO8, which is speed. And I'm just going to max the speed out. And that may take it to 99 or something, I don't know. Yeah, it takes it to 100. It will not do 100 kilometers an hour. It's just going to take it to 100. And then I'm going to double press, get out of it. And now that should put us into the faster speed uh, max of the bike. All right, so with that done, let's just go for a ride. Uh, and first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to pedal. Uh, see, again, I always do this. It's a little low. I don't know why I always do it, but I do. Here we go. It was more than a little low, actually. It was a lot low. All right. So now we're just going to ride a little bit. We're going to we're going to test everything, kind of, let you guys kind of see what it looks like and how it runs. Okay, so now we're in PAS0. Nothing works except for pedaling. you got to pedal. That's PAS7, or that's gear 7. I'm going to run it all the way down to gear 1. Uh, I did put 20 pounds of pressure in the tires, and I am fully charged. Okay, so now I'm going to put it up to PAS1. Sorry. PAS1 and here we go. So in PAS1, pedaling, sorry, I just lifted you up here. She does about nine and a half miles an hour. And I'm gonna put it in uh, gear seven so I'm not ghost pedaling, about nine and a half miles an hour. Now I'm gonna go to PAS2. And PAS2 does 12.9. Uh, so far, the bike is very nicely uh, PAS leveled up. It's doing very nice uh, speeds. PAS3 is 15.5. Very nice. The bike is very quiet. Uh, these are generic tires, to my knowledge. I didn't really see a name on them. I'll look again here, and we'll check that out in a minute. Uh, right here, watch your turns as I turned. I did a pedal uh, pedal scrape on the ground. So if you turn too sharp, you'll get a pedal scrape if you're turning. So uh, be careful with that. Um, all right, so the next will be PAS4. And uh, she got a little bit more power here. Uh, she's now doing 17 and a half. Then the next is PAS5. And PAS5, she's doing... 22, 23, I'm not going to have enough space, 24, and we'll have to go here, what we're going to do, here, we're going to go down to the sign and, uh, and check that out, <laughs> oh, got to tighten my seat, uh, post, it's, uh, it slid backwards a little bit, uh, I had that do it on another bike just the other day, it's not a big deal, it's just a bolt, you got to tighten, um, but 
at this point the bike feels very good whatever brand these tires are they kind of seem to me like a um, I don't know if it's true um, like a knockoff of a, a, a CTS BFT uh, but I think it's just another brand uh, I have seen the brand before I just don't remember it off the top of my head here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn around here and now we're gonna do our speed and how fast she will go uh, I'm gonna turn on my camera I mean my phone and I'm gonna find our GPS speed which is right here we're gonna hit speed here and we are gonna reset and this will really the only thing I use this for is uh, to make sure the speed is correct uh, the speedometer is correct and the uh, top speed that's all I'm doing okay now we're gonna go to to uh, PAS 5 and we're gonna throttle it first because we know it was doing 25 with uh, pedal only but let's see what it does it's a smooth takeoff uh, it doesn't have a lot of uh, quick get up and go but it's moving this is 24, 24, 25, 26, slow it down uh, these brakes uh, mechanical brakes the lever is nice and long uh, the lever is long so you get a good um, leverage on it and the bike is riding very nicely very nicely now we're gonna pedal it back to the stop sign and see if pedaling do we go faster than uh, the 28 miles an hour that it says it does Again, I don't know that it will, uh, but certainly the bike is uh, performing very well. We're going uphill, so she's kind of doing the 21 that most bikes do up this hill. Gosh, I really got to tighten that uh, seat post. <laughs> so uh, that is an easy fix, but the bike is pretty. Uh, this is a thousand dollar bike guys eleven hundred dollars and it's quiet and it performs very very well right now um yeah now we're doing 27 so and she even feels like she's getting faster 29.3 29.6 and that's about it so it's a legit 20 listen to those nice brakes it is a legit uh, 28 mile an hour bike and you can see it did 29.3 going down the uh, down the uh, slight downhill it's and it's slight downhill guys it's not a lot of downhill but uh, let's let you listen to the uh, horn very nice there's the light I think I just turned it on I could have just turned it off but let's see might have just turned it off now I now it should be off um, yeah so uh, the throttle is a twist throttle the handlebars feel good the bike feels good uh, I've got it on lockout because typically like I said that's where I like it let's pull it up into the Sun here 
and uh, take a look at the tire brand. See if I can see a tire brand on it. All right. So again, it is a Shimano turning, very nice uh, turning uh, with a guard uh, der derailleur. Um, some turnies don't have labeling. This turny has very nice labeling. Uh, I don't know if they buy them from different vendors or whatever, but this one's labeled really nice. All right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to see if I can see a name brand on these tires here. Bear with me. Oh. All right, so that explains why these are quiet. Uh, if you can see it right here, I'm going to come up close to it. Those are Chow Yang tires. That's not a that's not a bad brand. It's not an off brand, and it's not a cheap brand. Uh, and they're very, very quiet. Uh, these Chow Yangs are very quiet. All right, what we're going to do now, I'm going to go into the garage here, and I'm going to just tighten this bolt. That'll solve my seat problem. Uh, it was also happening on one of my other bikes yesterday. So all you got to do is tighten this down, and that'll solve that problem. Okay, real quick guys, it's just a 12 millimeter wrench, no, 13 millimeter wrench, right here and right there. Now, that will stop that seat from tipping backwards or forwards on you. So now that we have that fixed, let's take it for a little more ride. And, uh... I was trying to feel how good the seat was. Remember I told you this is a very plush seat. Very big, puffy, nice seat. Uh, a little better than a standard seat that comes on bikes. So, there we go. We're back on. Everything's good. Let's go for a little more ride. All right. Yeah, that's much better. Much, much better. All right, so now we will go up to PAS5 again. And uh, like I said, these brakes are really nice. The brakes are working really well. The bike looks pretty phenomenal. And uh, for all you get with this bike uh, for, for the money, uh, I would I would recommend I would highly recommend this bike at this point. JCon has bought brought out a very nice product. They haven't been out a long time as a manufacturer, but I remember last year. See, I'm saying 31, and I'm legitimately doing. He's almost 30. Yeah, these these slightly extra long. Uh, grips right here make the leverage on these but on these brakes really nice um, the other thing we have suspension I haven't talked a lot about it uh, but definitely suspension on the back I will uh, go up and down a drive and see if we can see some of that
soon as we get back to the house, we'll do my driveway, uh, only because I have a turnaround on it. I'll take the front um, 360 cam off too and show you with that. Oh man, these Chow Yangs are super, super nice. Super nice. All right, now we're gonna brake hard. And you can see it brakes, it brakes really nice. It, it actually brakes really nice. So right. let's talk about the bike a little bit. Very nice headlight, uh, a 750 watt, 75 uh, Newton meters of torque uh, motor. Uh, the brakes are Phalel. Um, they are 160 millimeter rotors, uh, manual pull brakes. It brakes just fine. It has a uh, full suspension on the front, full suspension on the back. Um, it's got a dual ring, um, chain guard. Uh, I don't know how many tooth it is. My suspect is 48. Um, not going to count them if someone's really interested i can do that later it's got a seven speed 14 to 28 uh free wheel on the back uh, this is a beautiful bike this thing uh can support 330 pounds of weight uh, so that's a little bit better than most at, at 265 or 275 to 300 this can support 330 pounds of weight uh, 13 amp battery uh, in the tube um, in or out of the tube, in the tube just looks a little cleaner, um, but this bike is, this bike is way more than uh, I expected. It, it's, it's way better than I expected uh, at, at the price point of $10.99. I, uh, I actually expected less and uh, got way more. Um, just the suspension alone is worth 300 extra bucks, maybe 400 extra bucks. All right, so now let's go. So this should be, this legitimately is a, I shouldn't say this because they may just raise the price on it, but it's a legit $1,500 bike, legitimately. All right, so one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to release. So now I got suspension on the front. And I got suspension on the back. I don't want to go five, but here, let's just go off this and see. Very soft both ways. That was very soft. Very soft going on, too. Now, what I'll do is I'm going to come off here, show you. Very soft. And now, but let's try it again here. I'm in the middle. Very clean. Very clean. Okay, and that's going to that's going to do well too. I didn't give it any power cuz I was afraid of the little uh, hanging fold stand. But it was just fine. So let's do it again. And we'll get up a little bit. There we go. Not something I'm going to do really fast. But very nice, very clean uh, bike. Uh, this bike may handle that as, as good as any bike I've ever tested going over it. Uh, certainly is softer than any bike I've taken over it. It just is soft. It is very, very soft. So last one. And now what I'm going to do... Okay, we're going to go all the way to the corner, but we're passing by the camera at... 26 miles an hour. Twenty-nine, 28.6 or something like that. 28.8. Uh, yeah, these are really nice brakes. I don't know what pads they have. Uh, very nice brakes, though. For manual pull brakes, these are pretty good. And as I always say, I prefer a hydraulic brake. This brake would be phenomenal with hydraulic brakes. 
but it's pretty great even with mechanical brakes pretty great all right so I'll show you I'm just gonna brake real hard here didn't skid but it, it surely broke nicely without skidding uh, I could tighten the barrel a little bit and it would skid let's go I don't know how many turns I got to go to uh, to activate right now what the what the setting is for activating the motor to turn on let's see one quarter a half a half a turn and it activates the motor But this is kind of what everything looks like when we're riding it. She's pretty. Now we'll go into PAS2. pretty bike all right guys well that's gonna end the video uh, and I would highly recommend this bike uh, at this price it is a steal this bike is a steal at 1099 and whatever you do when you buy the bike I don't get nothing for it, um, but tell them RV enthusiasts told you about it. That's the video for the day. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, share, and subscribe below, and we'll see you on the next episode.